The IMF is now warning that artificial intelligence, AI, could affect nearly 40% of jobs worldwide and, in doing so, worsen overall inequality, inequality in the labour market. I sat down with Klaus Schwab, the founder of WEF, arguably the reason why we're all here. He warns that AI-driven misinformation is another huge risk. If you take a two years outlook, fake news is the biggest risk which we face at the moment because it can have enormous consequences for elections. It can change the context inside which we are living in the wrong way. If you accept that the genie is out of the bottle and we can't put AI back in or we can't re... How do we manage it? We can maybe not put it in again, but we can capture it somewhere. It has come out of the bottle. And now we have to make sure that it goes into the right direction. And that means we have to develop guardrails for artificial intelligence. Why are you confident that we will? I'm not so confident, but we have at least to, to undertake the necessary steps and the, the key step is bringing governments and business together. And because only through cooperation of those two main pillars of society, integrating also civil society, you can create a kind of framework. Are you worried about the US election in November? Of course, I'm worried exactly for the fact that it may be very much influenced by fake news. Final thought, the, on the list, for you, which is the biggest risk we face in the next, 24, next year to two? I think the biggest risk uh, we face is that we lose hope and that we lose trust, trust into our institutions and particularly trust in our capability to shape a better future. We have become too much pessimists. Look, humankind was driven, uh, so was the paradigm, the, the narrative, to take care of the next generations, to take care of the neighbors. And we have lost this capability to a certain extent. How do we get that back? Look, the world is also full of opportunities. And the world, what, what's happening is not happening we are the cause of what's happening, so we can construct the world of tomorrow.